good evening welcome to dot programming dot com this is my blog or you can say website uh, through which you can learn more about programming languages so today I'm talking about how to take multiple web dot config file in single ASP dot net application so open the visual studio the in C solution explorer i have only single web.config file that is the structure of the web.config file uh, now i want to create app settings uh, tag inside the xml file that is web.config file so the first parameter is key in the add tag key is a simple string you can take and the value also you can take a uh, string type so key is a first and the value is my first web.config file okay that's fine now take a web form in the solution that is web form now access the element from the web.config file a label control bind the app settings element by using embedded tag that is the embedded tag less than uh, between the less than greater than uh, percentage sign and the dollar sign now access that is the app settings colon copy it the tag and also copy the key name after you can use the call after use colon that app settings colon first app setting is an element name of the web.config file yeah that's fine default.aspx is run yeah my first web.config file value we can access from the web.config file easily now add another web.config file in the application the same folder and that is here but change the name web2.config file when we access add similarly in the app settings file add key equals to ht simple you can take a string so I have randomly select ht as a name of the key and the value is my second web.config file okay now I want to access this file in the default.aspx that you can change here that is ht view in browser yeah application settings ht was not found in the application configuration because the default is the web.config file is a root file you can say so it does not access here okay now add another folder or you can say directory in the project or website add copy this file or you add another web form first of all add a new web.config file in the folder that is web.config file add Similarly, key equals to ht and the value is my second web.config file. That is now did delete previously file that is web2.config file from the solution remember again 
I have two web.config file first one is a uh, exist in the root folder and second one is exist in the subfolder that is web.config now add a another web form in the subroot folder for accessing the second root file second subroot uh, second subroot web.config file that is the first second default.aspx that is default.aspx that is subroot folder you can see I have two web.config file and two web form first two exist in the root folder and second one is subfolder okay view in browser first of all that is the root my first web.config file now run the subroot web form that is that is now run it yeah my second web.config file so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching and open my website for learn more our programming languages